on guys we have question right here it's asking the post should have an area of 180 inch square with one inch margin at the bottom and sides and a two inch margin at the top what dimensions will be the, give the largest printed area so let's see how, how we can solve this problem so first of all i would like to draw the diagram of this one so it's going to be something like this so they are saying a poster right so this is my poster and and it has a they are saying uh, this has margin of one inch in the at the bottom and the sides so they are saying it's going to be one inch inside one inch inside and from the side also one one and that is my sides and also they are saying the at the top uh, two margin at the top so here is two so let's say this is x y and they are also giving the area of this one x y equal to 180 in square so it's x y is going to be equal to 180 so this is one of our equation and we have to find another equation that that satisfy this one so what dimensions will give the largest printed area so to find that i have to find the inside dimension right, inside area so to find that what i have to do is i have to simply uh, in this case it's going to be x minus 2 because 1 inch inside 1 inch inside therefore this is going to be x minus 2 times uh, y minus 3 because 2 inch inside 1 inch, one inch inside so it's going to be y minus 3 it's going to be equal to let's say a. Okay, a so in this case if you see so we, uh, in this case what you have to do is to find the largest printed area so I have to find absolute minimum or absolute I had to find the absolute maximum but to find the absolute maximum first of all I had to find the critical numbers to find the critical numbers I had to solve this equation in terms of, I had to equalize the derivative equal to zero and solve this one but to solve this one the both variable have, variables has to be same but in this case we have two different variables x and y but to bring everything into same variable what I can do is I can substitute I can find the y value from the first equation and substitute in terms of x here. So if you find the y value in the first equation, so y is equal to 180 over x. So I can now substitute this value into the this equation. So it's going to be x minus 2 times 180 over x minus 3, which is going to be equal to a. So now what I have to do is I have to find the derivative of this one. So if you find the derivative. Uh, I can take the product rule in this case because two different variable things multiplying each other so I can take the product rule so it's going to be x minus 2 prime times 180 over x minus 3 plus x minus 2 times 180 over x minus 3 prime so if you find the derivative I will get one it's going to be just one because this is going to be zero this is going to be just one times 180 over x minus 3 plus x minus 2 remains the same and in this case this is going to become zero but this one this is x my x power minus one so x uh, if you divide x that means x power minus one so this minus one go in front it's going to be minus 180 over x minus 1 minus 1 is going to be x square x minus 2 then if I bring that one into the bottom that's going to be x square so therefore it's going to be 1 minus 180 over x square so that's going to be my derivative of this one now let's simplify this one so if I multiply so the, let's keep this one like this so 180 x minus 3 plus if I multiply each of them, uh, the first value is going to give me minus 180x over x square. The second value is going to be plus 360 over x square. So if you see plus 180 over x, and I can cancel this x and x square, so it's going to minus 180 over x. I can cancel these both then the remaining value is minus 3 plus 360 over x square 
now from we have almost reached level to find the a uh, find the critical number so to find the critical number what I have to do is I have to simply equalize this derivative to zero so if I equalize this derivative so first of all uh, we have to remember one more thing so let's see a prime if I take this one common it's going to be minus 3 x square plus 360 over x square so this is my derivative equation but before I go further if you see this, this equation x minus 2 times this value right since from this one we know this dimension can't be a negative number therefore we can say x minus 2 should be greater than or equal to 0 because that is one of our dimension right this this is one of the dimension that should be greater than or equal to 0 therefore from this one we can say x can x can x should be greater than 2 in this case so therefore we know that one of the domain is greater than 2 and in this case if you see critical numbers there are two ways to find critical numbers the first uh, first way is to find a value that does not exist because if you in this case x can't be equal to 0 because if you divide this equation by 0 that become does not exist so that's going to be one of my critical number but in this case it can't be a critical number because it's less than 2 we can't have a number that's less than 2 so this is not in the domain therefore we don't take that critical number to find the other critical number I have to equalize this one to 0 <coughs> so it's going to be minus 3 the bottom multiply by this one and become 0 so I take only the numerator <coughs> so it's going to be th minus 3 x square plus 360 then x square comes out to be 120 then x can be equal to 120 plus or minus because square root mean it can be a plus or minus number but in this case we have found the domain already it should be a positive number so it's just plus 120 120 and to make sure whether it is a local minimum or local maximum so because there are two possibilities they can this can be a local minimum or this can be a local maximum so we don't know so to find whether it is a local minimum or local, local maximum what I can do is I can test double derivative test so if I test to be absolute minimum it has to it has to have positive value because positive value give, give me open parabola that's absolute minimum to get absolute maximum we have to have negative value that's going to give a parabola opening down that's going to be a absolute maximum but in this case the question is largest printed area that means absolute maximum we, we won't have absolute maximum so to find whether we have absolute maximum we have to check the double derivative so if I check that one I will get let's see what I get so a so I take this one this is easier we have uh, minus 3 plus 360 x square, x square so a prime is minus 3 plus 360 I bring that one on top so it's going to be much easier minus 2 so if I find the double derivative this is going to become 0 this is going to become minus uh, minus 2 times 360 360 x power minus 3 minus 2 times 360 over x cube so in this case we have this x value this is a positive number we know we we already know this is because this can't be a negative number because our domain is greater than 2 therefore this can't be a negative number and this is positive number and if you substitute it here the cube is going to be a positive number if you have a negative number the cube is negative but if you have positive it's going to be always positive therefore if you divide a negative number by a positive number this is going to be a negative value therefore we know this is negative value and the parabola is opening down therefore this is absolute maximum absolute maximum that's what we want 
therefore we know this is an absolute maximum so we according to our conclusion we this is one of our dimension and we can substitute this one to find the this dimension so the y is going to be 180 over square root of 120 so that's my uh, another dimension so my final answer is um, so x if you find uh, the values in decimal it's going to give you 10.959 inch and the others are going to be 16.4316 inch so this is the so what dimension so they are asking for the dimension this is my dimensions and this is the value these are the values x is equal to 120 and y is equal to 180 over square root of 120 so this is my final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time